guys, it's Kat. Today I'm going to be filming a video on 10 different diapers. I have not tried a ton of diapers, but I've tried 10 different ones. So let's just get into this. I feel like I'm a million miles away and you're like way up, but it's because I try to keep just this in it. <laughs> and I like this. So I don't have all examples of the diapers, but I have some. The ones that I actually have with me are the Huggies, I think these are the Snug and Dry, Honest Company, Aiden and Anai, Pampers Swaddlers, I believe, they're definitely not the like cruising ones, and then Loves. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Parents' Choice ones. I don't have a one with me because we tried them when she was only a couple months old and I just did not like them. They didn't feel very good quality. They like kind of were like flaky. They also broke her out and eh. To be fair, I don't know if I gave them a full fair shot because, so moving on to the next one, Loves, we use these mainly now due to, well, I'll get into it. These and the Huggies, I think they both broke her out when she was younger. I don't remember exactly which one did it because it was like I had two packs and I used them like quickly within the same general time frame, if that makes sense, because you know babies go through diapers quick. None of them broke her out like immediately. I actually used to not like the loves. I feel like they didn't have the wetness indicator originally. Tell me if I'm crazy or if that's just like they changed it or something, because I thought they didn't. I used to be so paranoid about the wetness indicator like I had to have it on the diapers that's why initially I hated Honest Company because I was like they're so cute but they don't have the wetness indicator and I totally understand now why people told me that was really not that important one it's not always accurate and I also learned this from work because I'm an STNA so I take care of older adults who wear briefs sometimes that tend to have the wetness indicator it's just not always accurate they can have a had a bowel movement and it ended up not like being wet so it didn't make the indicator go off or sometimes the pee just isn't enough to make it go off but enough to irritate your baby's bottom. The parents choice ones I think they're the cheapest but you can tell um and I think we had blowouts with them I just I remember me not liking them and at the time I really wasn't that picky because like well still we don't have a ton of money to be spending on diapers that we just throw away all the time so I just want to get the best bang for our buck that doesn't irritate her. I do understand the different chemicals like worrying about the different stuff touching your baby's skin though. So with that being said we'll go into reviewing the Honest Company. I will say I love the brand. I love the idea of it. I think it's really cool. The diapers are okay. They're not very soft on the inside. They're actually like kind of soft on the outside though, which is kind of weird. Like you think it'd be softer on the inside. But you can tell it's like absorbent. I just think that for the price, unless you are super worried about what is going on in your baby's bottom, then I would probably try out the Hello Bella ones, which is ones that I didn't get the chance to try out yet, but I've heard that they're a little bit cheaper and better. I remember Mariana having some blowouts with the Honest Company ones. I like them, especially if you do the subscription, I think that's kind of cool. But to be honest with you, they're not readily available to me. We have a Walmart in our town. There is a very few things readily available and I don't like the whole subscription thing because I do online shop a lot because again, we don't have anything near us. But maybe I'm just making it more of a bigger deal, but I'd rather just go to the store and get them. <laughs> Which brings me to my next one, the Mom Bear Diapers, which I think are comparable to the Honest Company and um, Hello Bello. Okay, I think the exposure is like super up because I thought I was just really white, but I think it's also the exposure. Hold up. The Honest Company has really cute designs. I hate, 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 hate the designs of the other diapers. Why can't they just make them plain and then maybe throw the wetness indicator? Why do they have to put these stupid designs? Actually, the Mickey Mouse one's kind of cute. But still, like, what? why, 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 just, just save your money, like, I don't want the design. I would rather just be able to get, like, plain white ones. They're getting thrown away anyways, and when they're under dresses or something, I'd rather just be plain, so that way it's not, like, immediately, like, oh, that's a diaper. I mean, you'd be able to tell either way, but still. Which leads me to the next one, 
As far as the cuteness, the Aiden and Anai ones are really cute too. But I think these are the most expensive, I believe. But they're so soft and cute. They're really cute. But again, they're the most expensive and they don't like super wow me with how they work. Which is my biggest thing with the more expensive ones. If they don't wow me, why? I believe we even tried the Pampers Pure ones and I think again those are more expensive but don't work as well. If you're worried about your baby's bottom, I would say try out the Hello Bello, but I'm not saying as far as a recommendation I would just say try them out because I plan on trying them out. But again, I'm going to have to go through the whole online thing because they do have them at my store and so luckily those are at least available to me but they're so expensive. Like the Honest Company, I think I calculated it and it was like going to be a thousand dollars approximately within a year just on diapers. Disposable diapers are super expensive. Cloth ones can be too, which we'll get into. So the next one is Pampers. I, for newborns, really love the Pampers Swagglers. I probably would not use Loves on my newborn. I think that that just comes from the fact that Pampers are a little more gentle, but we did notice with the Swagglers blowouts. So once your kids get any sort of mobile, my daughter was swaddled for longer than she should have been. But once they get mobile, would not recommend Pampers Swaddlers. I don't think we've tried the other Pampers ones besides, I think we did try a box of the Pure and didn't really care. So we do need to try the other Pampers ones. We have a Costco, well not me, my family has a Costco membership which is like a store that you can buy stuff in bulk. But I don't know if it's actually a better deal or not. I had factored it before but apparently they raised their prices or something. But they sell Huggies. So. I actually think we just got a bag of these ones, but the Snug and Dry are okay. They're pretty cute. What I like is this. See that? Okay, I think these ones are like, see what the swaddle, the swaddle doesn't, doesn't do that. Well, but the Loves doesn't either. Loves ones don't have blowouts as much. I hated them when she was younger though, so that is something to factor in. It kind of depends on your baby's age mobility, and what their skin can tolerate. I felt guilty for a while not using the Honest Company ones, but the same thing happened with like, I had guilt from not breastfeeding long enough and, or long enough for my own comfort. And then I had guilt about the fact that I did not want to use the formula that she's on. She uses a Gerber one because I'd heard so many bad things about it. We went through all kinds of different formulas. We used this like organic one and just made her sick. You know what ended up working out? The Gerber Soothe, the basic one. So, I don't know. I do love the Honest Company. Like, who is it? Jessica Alba or something like that who runs the whole thing. And I love the whole clean beauty. I love the idea of it. My wallet does not like it. That's the problem. But I remember not liking the Huggies when she was younger too. But I think as she got older, I ended up liking the Huggies. I feel like they tried different Huggies and Pampers ones, but I don't remember. Because kind of just going through the different brands instead of diapers, which <laughs> I didn't even think of when we were getting diapers, like that we should factor in her mobility. I also want to try the Kirkland diapers, which is like the Costco brand, because I'm gonna make a different video on like wipes, but I did use their wipes for a period of time. The reason I stopped using the Mama Bear, I don't know if I finished, was because they were okay, but again, I don't like having to order stuff online. That might sound really stupid, but if it's not readily available, it just makes me really nervous. Because then if you run out and you only are like relying on that, it's just so much easier to go to the store and buy a little box. Especially like the amount that you get isn't always exactly adjustable. I mean it is, it's just more hassle. <laughs> and again, the price, the price point. They were okay, but they also didn't wow me. I'd probably choose those over the um, Honest Company and... Aiden and I to think they were a little cheaper, but I really like to try out the Hello Bella ones. The winner here for me was Loves, and it's just because I haven't had to deal with many blowouts with it. It's still relatively soft. I think that they are just like a good type of diaper for her, and the price point is ideal. With all that being said, I think we are going to try some other diapers because recently we've been having a little bit of issues with diaper rashes and if we use a not sensitive diaper, we definitely have to use a sensitive wipe. So that's kind of one way I make myself feel better about it. It's all about what works for your baby, but that's kind of just like my review on them. And I can do an updated one when I test out the Hello Bello, 
the different movers ones for the Huggies and Pampers. Maybe retest out the Pampers Pure and then like the Kirkland ones. I just wanted to jump in and say we ended up trying the Pampers Cruisers and they are soft. They have cute little designs which I think are it's cool compared to like the Honest Company. You see how they don't scrunch in the back? They also didn't do as well with my daughter as the Huggies Little Movers did. And they also scrunch, so it like fits her better. I will say I think they're both softer than Love's. Oh, but to give a the tenth one, cloth diapers. So I tried cloth diapering. I was not doing it right. The thing with cloth diapering is it takes some time and work to kind of figure out what works for your baby. And every baby is different. So say you get all these diapers, you have to figure out which diaper is going to work. Just like any other ones, but the problem is cloth diapers are much more expensive because they're reusable and you got to make sure you're getting relatively high quality. It was just a little bit of a hassle for me and I was so stressed when she was a newborn and being a first time mom. But I think second time around, whenever I do have another kid, if I ever have another kid, I'd probably try cloth diapering again, especially through the newborn phase. And especially if I'm like breastfeeding and everything. As I get older, I know it gets more complicated, but I would rather, one, it's better for the planet. Two, it can be more cost efficient as time goes on. And three, I just, it, if you figure out what works, it's a lot less hassle. Like me having to try out all kinds of diapers. And everything was that way with my baby. Like she had so many different bottle sets, which is a whole different video. Actually, I'm not even gonna make a video on that. Unless it's like something people want because I think I tried out every single baby bottle there is for the most part. It was <sighs> expensive. That is it for this diaper review. I hope this was in some way beneficial for you. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Bye!